This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar exploring third-party panels for Adobe Premiere Pro. In this excerpt, I want to show you one from SmartSound. Now we need access to a musical library, and that's where SmartSound comes in. Their website is smartsound.com. They have a brand new release that came out a month ago with Premiere integration, and if you haven't experimented with SmartSound, it's worth taking a look at. Let me show you. Let's pretend I've got a documentary, and I need to lay down a musical track for it for a particular piece of uh, montage that I'm creating. And I want that montage to run, oh, 24 seconds. Well, most music is much longer than 24 seconds, so the first thing I've got to do is find the music that I like and then edit it down so it's 24 seconds. And it takes time. I would much rather have it be automated. And this is the big strength that Smart Sound has. The company was founded back in 1995, and I started using it in 1997. And I've been using it now for almost 20 years, and I'm a huge fan. In fact, I've done tutorials on Smart Sound, which you'll find on the Smart Sound site. The thing I like best about Smart Sound is that I can specify the duration, and Smart Sound will automatically create a musically correct piece that is the duration that I need. But now we have tighter integration with Premiere than ever before. If we go up to File, go to New, notice that I'm not in the Window menu on New Extensions. I'm in File, New, Smart Sound. It creates a synthetic clip that matches the specifications of the project file that we're editing, the sequence that we're editing, I should say. Click OK. Notice that this bouncing sign that says Premiere lights up. See where it says use Sonic Fire to create or modify your soundtrack and the cancel button is there? Don't click cancel. <laughs> because if you do, it breaks the link between Premiere and Sonic Fire, which is the, the software that Smart Sound has created. So yes, the little bouncing Premiere thing drives me completely nuts, but every time I would cancel it to make the bouncy Premiere icon disappear, I'd lose the link to Smart Sound. So leave this alone. Let's go back to Smart Sound. This is the brand new Sonic Fire Pro version 6 interface. It's much cleaner. Everything is on a single screen. It's much easier to use than version 5, which had seven different windows attached. Much more, much more unified look. This is where we search for stuff. This is our list of all the music. And this is the timeline where we can build bigger mixes. Let's do something really simple. Go to webinar, which is what we use for these webinars, does not support playing computer audio and my microphone at the same time. So you're just going to have to use your imagination on what this incredible music sounds like. I have a library of almost 2,300 clips to work with. So I'm going to select a beautiful day, a beautiful piece of music that will perfectly illustrate what I mean by how this works, because we don't, <laughs> we don't need to hear it to be able to see the process. Notice that I first select the clip, and then I dial in the time that I want it to run, 24 seconds. That quickly has re-timed the music with a beginning, a middle, and an end that runs exactly 24 seconds without me having to do anything else. Select the clip, type in the time, click Send. It automatically takes that clip, sends it back to Premiere, and there it is, and I've now added it to my timeline. And I'm now playing it and reveling in the wonder of the music, except, you know, this one shot needs to disappear, and suddenly my 24-second montage is now 18 seconds. I've got to figure out a way to cut six seconds of music. This is just painful. Here's the trick. Double-click it. When you double-click it, it automatically loads the music back into Sonic Fire, there it is. Notice that it runs 24 seconds. I'm going to grab the edge of the clip and drag it to the length that I want. I want it to be 18 seconds, so I'm just going to drag it. That quickly, it retimes the music with a beginning, a middle, and an end that now runs exactly 18 seconds. See that bouncing Premiere thing? Drives me nuts. Don't click Cancel. Go back to File, send to Plugin Host, go to Adobe Premiere, and it's now retimed my clip. This is extraneous. There's no audio there anymore. I'm just going to trim it back. And that quickly, my audio's gone to 18. Or double click it, load it again, stretch it out. I want it to be 30 seconds. Set it to the duration you want just by grabbing an edge and dragging it. File, 
Notice I haven't saved as. I just simply say send it back to Premiere. And we'll stretch it back out. And there's our clip. Is that not cool? This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar exploring third-party panels for Adobe Premiere Pro CC. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 204. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,400 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth, and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.